everyone and welcome back to another week of activities. This week we're going to talk about the history of popular sports. So it says, what do you know about sports? Let's find out. So we're going to choose one of the four sports, football, baseball, soccer, or basketball. So let's start with basketball. Oh, never mind. We're going to start with baseball. So um, baseball is America's national past time. It is thought to have descended from the English sports rounders and cricket. So that's what they call baseball in England. Baseball involves two teams trying to hit a ball with a bat between two white lines, with the batters running around a series of bases to score runs. And that's how they score their points. Today, baseball is popular not only in the United States, but also in East Asia and Latin America. The sport has an estimated following of 500 million fans. So we're going to practice some baseball skills. So the two skills that we're going to talk about is hitting a ball and throwing a ball. So we're going to practice hitting. So you're going to put your body sideways and this is your front foot is your lead foot. You're going to put your hands together as if you're holding a bat. Watch that ball and swing. So let's do five swings. Ready? One, two, three. Hit that ball. Four, five. Good job. So the next one is throwing a ball. Let's stand over here. So we're going to put our body sideways, our elbow up high. We're going to step with the opposite foot. So if the ball is in my right hand, we're gonna step with your left hand. You're gonna release and follow through. And let's do five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. All right, let's see what we're gonna do next. So this is a test your knowledge quiz. So it's about baseball. America's national pastime is thought to have descended from the English sport called tag, cricket, or dodgeball. Do you remember what we talked about earlier? So do you think it's tag, cricket, or dodgeball? Let's see. The correct answer is cricket. So now let's talk about basketball. It was invented by a man but named James Naismith. Basketball is now played worldwide and has an estimated following of 825 million people. In basketball, two teams attempt to dribble a ball up a court and shoot it into a raised hoop-shaped net to score points. If you like to run, jump, and shoot, then you'll love the game of basketball. So we're gonna do two practice skills. We're gonna practice dribbling. So we're gonna put that ball on the side and in front of the body, you're gonna use your finger pads, almost as if you're kind of like a little spider on a table. Keep the ball at your waist and your eyes look forward. So let's practice five dribbles. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. Basketball shooting, we're gonna flex our knees, we're gonna grip the ball, um, shooting hand, guide hand. Look at the basket, extend that shooting arm and follow through. So we're gonna do five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Test your knowledge. What skills do you need to play basketball? Skip, hop. Pass, jump, sit, sleep. That would be very funny if you were sleeping on the court. Running, jumping, shooting. Let's see. The correct answer is C, run, jump, and shoot. Let's see what sport we're gonna do next. Oops, sorry. 
So we're gonna do football next. The man most responsible for the sport of football we know it today is Walter Camp, and he's known as the father of American football. On November 6th, 1869, so a long time ago, players from Princeton and Rutgers held the first intercollegiate. So those are college teams, not pro teams. Football contest in New Brunswick, New Jersey. And that's kind of where I grew up. So we're gonna practice football skills. So the first one we're gonna practice is throwing the football. So we're gonna grip the ball. We're gonna raise the ball until it's level with your ear. And then once again, we're gonna stop step with that opposite foot and throw the football. And let's do five of those. One, two, three, four, five. And the next one is catching the football. You're gonna look at the ball and then you're gonna put your hands way up high, get those fingers spread out and catch the ball. If you want, you can jump a little bit and catch the ball. Two, three, four, five. Good job. Test your knowledge. Walter Camp is known as the father of football, father time, mm -mm, and my father. No. Can you name one team that participated in the Super Bowl? So the correct answer is A, Walter Camp is the father of football and the two teams that played in the Super Bowl are the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Kansas City Chiefs. Do you remember who won? Tampa Bay Buccaneers. All right, this is our last sport, soccer. History of soccer dates back to the Chinese dynasty when the game was played using pig's bladders or the heads of enemies for a ball. Oh my gosh, so that means they cut off people's head and then use the head to kick as a ball. Football or soccer as the game is called in some parts of the world. So in most parts of the world, soccer is called football. Here in the United States, we refer to football as the game with throwing and catching, but the rest of the world refers to soccer as football. And then our football with the throwing and the catching is known as American football. Has a long history. Football in its current form arose in England in the middle of the 19th century. So we're gonna practice some soccer skills. So we're gonna, actually one skill, sorry. We're gonna practice kicking. So we're gonna plant one foot and we're gonna get that other foot ready and we're going to kick through. And you're gonna do five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. So what is the most popular sport played in the world? Is it baseball? No, that we've learned that that's just the United States. Basketball? Even though basketball is becoming more popular and it is now played worldwide, because it wasn't always. Soccer. The correct answer is soccer. Soccer has between 3.3 .3 and 3.5 billion, not million, billion fans all over the world. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed answering some of the questions and check back next week for another activity.